Harper, why end W. Melly back in court ahead of his retrial in a double murder case? A Miramar detective testifying today during a motions hearing. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos joins us live from the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with the testimony. Roy. Gio and Janice, that lead detective on the stand the entire morning, testifying to a cell phone that he obtained from YNW Melly's mother. Well, the defense argues that that cell phone was illegally obtained because it was out of the jurisdiction of that Miramar detective. And they also say that the cell phone taken wasn't the exact cell phone that that detective listed in a warrant. That's just one of many motions that we got a chance to hear from today as the defense pushed for a mistrial. Wearing glasses and a red jumpsuit, YNW Melly, whose real name is Jamal Demon, sat appearing to be attentive, listening to motion after motion of the defense, pushing for dismissal of a case where he's accused of killing his two friends in 2018. Lead detective in the double murder case back on the stand Tuesday, testifying to his recollection of an incident back in October of last year where he was accused of illegally obtaining a cell phone. Miramar Police Detective Mark Beretti denied accusations he asked a Broward Sheriff's deputy to lie and vouched for his execution of a search warrant of the phone of Jamie King, YNW Melly's mother. The purpose of this warrant, which is contained the last line of your affidavit, is just to determine whether um, either the suspects had scouted out the crime scene prior to the homicides. Correct, sir. In court, the defense pointing out the cell phone seized wasn't the exact cell phone Moretti had listed in the warrant. Once the records were obtained, he acknowledged the phone had a different International Mobile Equipment Identity Number, or IMEI number. So you already had downloaded a phone that the warrant was not for, correct? Correct. Okay. When you discovered that mistake, you immediately returned the phone, correct? No, no. Already testifying that rather than return the phone, he revised the warrant, but much of the information he obtained, he was unable to use. Are you saying that the data that you got from this search was really not useful for you? Uh, it wasn't. We did not get all the data that we requested. And just a few moments ago, we got a chance to speak with defense attorneys. They tell me that they have wrapped up their pre-trial motions. We're told that jury selection will begin December 4th. We'll be there for that and let you know what happens. For now here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.